The tooth fairy is a gentle way to help children navigate the changes of growing up, turning the loss of baby teeth into a magical and memorable experience. In the tooth fairy AI platform, an AI agent is not a magical fairy, but a software powered assistant that can take intelligent actions based on user input and configured instructions. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you one of the most fascinating ways I have seen creating an AI agent. Tooth Fairy AI is a decentralized AI platform that enables anyone to build, deploy and manage AI agents and models without requiring specialized AI engineers, data scientists, developers or any other computer expert. It emphasizes ownership, security and scalability, offering multilingual and multimodal capabilities out of the box. And I will show you in a hands-on demo where we will be creating a real estate agent in no time with the help of AI. Businesses or users can create AI agents to analyze data, generate reports, images or charts in over 120 languages quite easily while maintaining full control over their data, which is stored securely within Australia or on-premise for enterprise users. The platform provides flexible deployment options across subscription tiers, which I will be also showing you shortly. So let's get started. First step, just go to their website and I will drop the link to it in video's description, which is toothfairyai.com sign up with your email account and you don't have to put in your credit card that is a bit i really love i really hate putting my credit card even for the trial purposes and as soon as i see that uh, that's a no-no for me but i think this one has got it right so once you log in you'll be presented with a screen like this from there the first step which you will need to do is to create a new workspace which is primarily your virtual confined uh, solitary area to create your agents and do other stuffs. If you don't want to create agent, you just want to chat after uploading your documents, you can simply do that from the right hand side. But I think the best um, way to utilize this platform is to create an agent. Now, this is my workspace. From here, we can start creating an agent. You can also hire an existing agent by clicking on hire agent. So if you click there, you see that they already have a lot of agents tailored to various use cases from help desk technicians to some payroll manager, project manager, recruitment specialist, and the list goes on and on. But I'm more interested in creating one of our own agents. So I'm just going to click on start from scratch. Let me create an agent here. So the agent which I'm going to create is a Sydney real estate agent as I'm based in Sydney. And if you are in Sydney or maybe anywhere in Australia, you know that how important it is to have a good agent if anything like that exists here, especially in Sydney. I have yet to meet one anyway. Um, this video is not about me whinging about the real estate stuff in Sydney. So I'm just going to call my agent as Sydney real estate agent and of course the domain is real estate now we need to give agent a description always make sure whenever you are creating an agent to keep it short direct and targeted don't write you know huge uh, novels or war and peace here just simply two to three lines are more than enough so i am just telling it that the this AI assistant helps Sydney real estate professionals analyze property documents, generate listing visuals, summarize brochures and create short videos, streamlining marketing and buyer engagement in Australia's most dynamic housing market. Maybe I'll also say buyer and seller engagement. Okay, and then I'm just going to go with the assistant, which is the most versatile and most generic sort of assistant. If you are creating a programming uh, agent, then go with programmer. And then similarly for orchestrator, if you want to go with a workflow where multiple agents are working together. And so goes for the operator where you want to have your own rag tooling and function calling. But let's stick with the assistant one. I think that's a 
uh, most generic and the best one okay now this is where you can uh, type as much as you want but still i would like to keep it as um, targeted as possible so these are the instructions i'm giving to my agent that it is a purpose built for sydney i don't want to to deal with uh, melbourne brisbane or anywhere else in the world or australia and i'm telling it that it assists agents buyers and maybe i'll just say or investors because uh let's see maybe sellers and investors because we have investment properties we have residential properties and then you know it can analyze and generate property documents floor plans listing and all that stuff here so that is cool so i'll just scroll down now as you know that these agents use tool in order to accomplish a goal so look in very very simple words what exactly is an ai agent if you really think about it ai agent is a piece of software which takes a natural language prompt such as in english from a user then it talks with the large language model to convert that prompt into function call or you know api call tool call from there your software calls multiple tools like generating an image or generating a report calling the database endpoint that sort of stuff um sky is the limit there you can do anything and that is what we are doing here we are specifying that use internet search for searching the properties image creation for visual content creation default answer if it doesn't know about anything or doesn't want to answer anything you can simply use this uh, default answer now it's always good idea to give the goals to the agent now this is what i really like about this tool is that normally if you look at the agentic software all they ask you to do is to give it a name give it a description maybe some sort of instructions and that's pretty much it but this is where the agents can go rogue by rogue i mean they can be a runaway agent it would be unreliable it will just become wild you it will be very hard for you to make it focus on a particular task but by making sure you are giving it a targeted instruction you are defining your clear and crisp goals you are making sure that you are not only telling the agent what needs to be done you are also defining the boundaries and that in my opinion is one of the corner stone of having a successful agent and uh, tooth fairy ai primarily is enabling you to do exactly that which is a great idea and such you know similarly um, inhibition means that your negative prompt which this is the stuff which you don't want your agent to do for example you don't want your agent to be a financial advisor or legal advisor and stuff like that i also wanted to focus only on sydney market and then again you know just to uh, put the message across uh, and hit it right at home we are again giving it this pertinence or focus package passage that this is what it needs to do nothing else now you can also you know define some of the agentic tools like uh chart generation it can upload you can upload documents image audio you know whatever tooling you need to do you can simply go and do that uh, so if you are in this city market or western market or anywhere in the world most of the real estate agents when they are uploading an ad of a property online they have all the multimedia available so you can just do or write everything from here with a text prompt that is all what we are doing for the image generation you can also enable it and that is only available in the pro account not in the free account and understandably because running creating these things are expensive so a lot of api calls and uh, credits are spent so that's understandable so you can go with mystica realism or st so depend whatever you like to do um, these are the fine-tuned models i guess you can also enable multilinguality you know whatever you like i think they are only for the enterprise and there are bits and pieces which you can check out so for example llm it is using scorer so that is fine just keep it as is so tools again scorer uh, sorry not scorer sorcerer and then for vision it is using sorcerer vision so i'm just going to keep everything as is 
there are some hyper parameters which you can specify to control the output i think i'm just going to go with whatever it is point one so the randomness and creativity is uh, on the uh, point one side which is fine i guess for this uh, agent because we want it to be focused okay so there are a lot of other stuff which is there so i'm just going to keep it as this let's create it and our agent is created successfully as you just saw in the bar i'm going to exit from here and then you see that our real estate agent is there now you can either click on it or you can click on chat and our agent is now ready one of the cool thing is that you can simply hover over this real estate agent and then you can see that um, you can click on it to edit there is a image generation tool which we have selected and various other bits and pieces you can also expand it to see what exactly is the chat and if you just go over it you can click on edit if you want to edit anything you can edit just very very quickly anyway i'm going to go back and start chatting with this agent now for this one what i'm going to do i'm going to ask it uh, this prompt so this is asking it that i am desperate to buy my first home in sydney but everything is so expensive i have a strict one million dollar budget and need a two to three bedroom place with decent access to transport and schools so please help me i don't even know where to start once you suggest suburb where i might still get something decent so this is uh, checking suburb knowledge empathy tone balance between realism and encouragement so agent is working thinking it is selecting the tools which i have enabled um, it is going to respond there you go so it is quite empathetic it has narrowed it down to few of the suburbs which you know what quite good so it is not using its old training data it is actually um, getting the real time data which is very much crucial for the agents and all of these suburbs are i think quite good now one thing i haven't mentioned is that yes two to three bedroom but do i want a uh, house duplex unit or what and look at this so it has created it has narrowed it down to these suburbs it has created um, this graph with all the suburbs with the angles that which are good for what like good transport good schools and with all the color scheme it has done it by itself in a jiffy look at this chart how good that looks so the average price is very this is so cool and now this is a suburb overview and if i quickly skim through it this is spot on and now it is telling me about this so i'm just going to make it a bit harder i'm saying oh and i don't want a unit or townhouse tick to houses let's see so this is going to change the whole dynamics here so it is thinking and i'm letting it run so that you would uh, see the speed there you go so it has narrowed down it has totally changed uh, most of the suburbs here which is correct and now it is again plotting it and then it is talking about which suburb is good for what there you go so now the thing which is to be noted here is that not only this agent is quite targeted very very well focused it is respecting the instructions it is generating the responses it is not really hallucinating uh, it is not going wayward so, and you see i haven't written a single line of code very very quick okay so this is from the buyer's perspective let's try out one with the seller one so instead of this this chat maybe what i'll do i'll just go here and this is my agent i'll create a new chat here and then i'll just and it is still my agent so now i am going to be acting as a buyer or seller sorry and for that one i am going to give it this prompt maybe i will just make it more harder i'll call it uh, so you see i'm asking it that i'm planning to sell uh, my three bedroom fibro house in mount Druid. it has some termite damage but i don't want to spend money fixing it i was hoping to get around one mil i know it's a big bit high but can 
we market it in a way that avoids mentioning the damage and focuses on the positive to attract high offer so this is going to test the ethical um nature of the agent like the cartridge the model plus how it goes about it there you go so it is telling us that look appreciate you sharing your plan but be transparent get a professional assessment which is quite good and now it is giving me the visual representation here which is quite good okay that's fine and it is actually quite good here and these are in the uh, darker one get best expansion and i'm going to say okay uh, i also want to renovate my bathroom um but maybe i'll ask it can you generate an image of a bathroom that would increase my increase sorry um home value let's see if it can generate it it is choosing there you see it has automatically selected the pertinent tool here it is generating that okay it should be able to generate it let me see if it is the tool is enabled or not okay so i have enabled this <clears throat> image generation again and for some reason it was turned off so let me it is already saved now let me go back and open it and there you go this time our agent has generated these images how good is that so you can simply go in and then you can generate as many images of the home as possible and this looks really cool and you can select one of them and then you can start marketing it same you can create brochures you can create marketing videos even you can upload your images and then you can start playing around them you can create the full-blown marketing campaign with your uh, property agent here so look very impressive step um in terms of ai agentic power here let me know what do you think try it out and uh, if you like the video please click on that like button and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for all the support